so i have repeated uh, from round number 3 to round number say, uh, 8 which i have already explained i repeated it for total four uh, times this is one section you can call it second third and fourth i did it for four times uh, and you can continue to add more section of these rounds if, if you want your poncho to be more bigger but i thought i got the desired length i wanted and then i added these fringes these simple plain fringes uh, i only have one to do which i will do on camera i just took one purse i have at home so what i did was that i i wrapped my yarn loosely around this purse for six total times 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 6 and then i cut the yarn remove the yarn from the purse and fold it into half like this and then insert your yarn into the space where you want your fringe to be grab the yarn from from the central point of this fringe grab the yarn and pull it through that chain to space and then pull all of the yarn through this loop pull it snug tight and then you just cut the extra yarn like this and that's it your uh, fringe is ready what i did was that i added i added the fringe in every chain to space and then i added uh, the fringe two places here on this section of my double crochet i skipped four and five double crochets and then i did uh, attach the fringe between fifth and sixth from this round and then i skipped one two three four five double crochets and then i did attach the fringe between fifth and sixth and i did the same on the other side now we will work on the neckline because um, it will give it uh, first of all it will give that elastic uh, what you call it texture on the neckline neckline and secondly it will give it a finishing look also so just join uh, join anywhere you want to i will put the uh, hook from behind the double crochet i will join my yarn and then chain 3 1 2 three, 3 and this chain 3 counts as your first uh, front post double crochet then what you will do is make back post double crochet into the next double crochet like that front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end so i have made all of the stitches and now i am at the end of this round what i am going to do is i am going to front post slip stitch into the last stitch which is which was supposed to be our front post double crochet so i will insert my hook from the beh behind and i will grab the yarn and i will do normal regular slip stitch and then i will cut the yarn and that's it now our poncho is finished what uh, the only thing i did off camera was that i made a simple plain chains 
to make a cord and then I attached these small silver hearts I had at home and that's it now our poncho is complete um, I tried my best I tried my level best to explain everything with details if there is any confusion if there is anything you guys did not understand you guys are most more than welcome to comment below and um, I'll try my best to explain it e even more and uh, thank you so much for watching